So you don't believe in ghosts, huh? Let me tell you something, friend. Guys that don't believe in ghosts is guys that never seen none. Ain't that right? Listen, I can tell you a ghost story that'll make your hair curl. I say it'll make your hair curl. Listen, last August, I was nabbed by a couple of coppers. Never mind the details. It just so happened that they come up on me when I was sticking up a filling station. Well, they drug me in. It was a tough rap to beat. Since they got me standing there, flat-footed, holding a gun on one of the filling station guys, and well, the coppers didn't like me anyway. Oh yeah, sure. Because I had to bump off a copper or two the week before. And it wouldn't be my luck to be picked up by this guy's partner. Well, they took me in and they decided to show me the fishbowl. You don't know what that is, huh? Well, I'll tell you. You are a liar, Max. Yeah? So what, copper? You rat. I know you knocked off Ambrose Hogan. And you're gonna fry for it. You gotta prove it first, Miller. <sighs> Pull the light over this way a little more, John. Right in his eyes. I'll prove it, rat. Go ahead. Hand me the hose, John. Okay. Now, now look here. Don't you go- Now what you say? I, I'm not going right to no- You ain't, huh? You wait till I get a mouthpiece, Miller. You'll be walking a beat out in Circleville, where the- It won't make no difference to you, punk, where I'm walking the beat. Not when you're burned. Yeah, who's going to burn me? You knocked off Ambrose Hogan. I was in Omaha the night he got knocked off. Listen, Maxie. Get this now. Ambrose Hogan was a friend. When I'd seen him laying on a slab downstairs, I took a solemn oath I'd get the rat that done it if it took me 50. You ought to hire a hall. <coughs> ah, I'll get you for this copper. I don't think you're going to get anything out of him, Miller. Ah. There's a smart copper, Miller. Yeah? Listen, I got a way to get things out of smart guys like you, Maxie. Come over here, John. What are you going to do? Listen, Miller, I... Shut up! You can't. I want a lawyer. You, you got to let me have a lawyer. You can't get away. You want to sing, Maxie? Or do you want to spend a few hours in the haunted cell upstairs? What? Oh, another gag, huh? Think so? Listen, I bet you eight dollars you'll change your mind, baby. Get up. Where you going? Get going. Go ahead, John. Open the door. What are you going to do to me? You can't get away with this. Ever know Skeeter Dempsey, Maxie? Come on. This way. What about him? They burned him last winter. Yeah, that's right. Friend of yours. I knowed him. Well, that's just fine, Maxie. Yes, sir. That'll be just dandy. What you asking about, Skeeter? Skeeter Dempsey for. Skeeter killed the copper too. So what? It's bad business to kill coppers, Max. Already, John? Already. Right this way, Maxie, my boy. What are you up to? I'll tell ya. Try in there, baby. Get in there, you. Why, you? Now listen. This here's the cell that Cedar Dempsey was locked up in when he first came here. He liked the cell, Maxie. He still likes the cell, Max. 
What do you mean? He'll probably be around to see you before the night's over. Oh yeah? Another one of your gags, huh? Well, you won't kid me, copper. This whole corridor, Maxine? You're the only guy in. Except Skeeter Dempsey. We'll see what a night here with him will do to you, huh, John? <laughs> yeah. If you get scared, Maxie, just call. Just yell. Nobody will pay any attention to you. Nobody at all. Except maybe Skeeter Dempsey. Good night, Max. Come on, John. Hey, L listen now. Pleasant dreams, you rat. You can't scare me, Miller. I know your gags. You can't scare me. No. Nope. Well, we'll see about that. Ghost. Hey. Hey, I want a lawyer. Good night, Maxie. Hey, hey, you can't turn the lights out on me, Miller. T turn them back on. You can't leave me here in the dark. Can't, huh? Miller. Miller! Why, you flat-footed. Miller! C come back here, Miller. I I'm scared.